So supercomputing has helped me in my research uh, because it, it's given me ideas for new research. It's uh, given me a venue to publicize the successes I've had in research and um, also it's, it's shaped the directions in, in kind of a higher level way that I've done. So um, supercomputing tends to be a very um, pragmatic venue, all right, and so like I, I won a Gordon Bell Prize here and so that's actually working closely with an application team to make sure that the application runs fast. And you don't really do that at other conferences. Okay, so what my first supercomputing conference was like is uh, very different from what, what supercomputing is like for me today. Uh, as I said earlier, I've, I've been coming here for 15 years in a row now and uh, the reasons I come back have, have changed over time. Um, the first time I, I came here, I was fresh out of grad school. Um, I'd been working at Livermore for only a few months at that point. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a scene. There's, there's lots of good technical talks, but there's also this whole show floor. It's not the sort of thing you would normally expect out of an academic conference. So. Um, you know, that, that was very appealing at that point. Um, since then, um, over time, you know, as I uh, you know, got to know more people and, and working with more people um, across the DOE and across uh, academia in high performance computing, um, it became a place where um, you kind of have to show up because everybody's going to be here. If you're not here, you're missing out on the opportunities to meet with people. Um, now, um, you know, this year I, I'm actually busier than ever, um, running the invited talks, working on having a conference go, um, and meeting with vendors, thinking about what we're going to be doing in f for future systems that we'll actually be um, citing at Livermore.